Hi, welcome again to the Success Portal with me, Dr. Franklin. All right, today is Success Nuggets 3. And while I was just thinking about today's topic, it occurred to me that knowledge is something that's very powerful. And many of us uh, expect to be seen by a knowledgeable doctor if we are not feeling well and you'd never go to a doctor whom you perceive as uh, incompetent, uh, whom you'd perceive as is not up to breast with his medical information. Why is that? Because you don't want to risk your life and you cannot afford to risk your life because you only have one life. And especially if you were going to go for a surgical procedure, you would expect that the doctor who is going to administer the anesthetic to you knows exactly what he's going to do and is going to be able to take care of you while you are asleep so that you survive and you wake up with the uh, minimum uh, as, and in fact no complications if possible. And you'd expect that the doctor who's going to operate you has a good knowledge of anatomy so that he can be able to operate the correct structures with the minimum amount of complications and if no complications uh, with minimum complications and no complications if possible and then you expect that if you were desiring to move from one city to another or from one country to another that the pilot who is going to fly that particular aircraft that you are in has adequate amount of knowledge to safely uh, control that aircraft or move that aircraft from point A to point B. And then if you've got an accountant or a financial advisor, you would expect that they have the adequate amount of knowledge in order to be able to audit your accounts or assist you in issues to do with tax or giving you advice of how to run your accounts. But when it comes to life, people are not interested in actually acquiring knowledge as to how they should navigate through life. They expect everybody else who is coming into their lives to assist them in special or special or specialized areas to have the adequate amount of knowledge. But when it comes to their own lives, they are not prepared to actually acquire knowledge. There are people who would uh, get married and with minimum amount of knowledge and they just feel like it's just going to work. And to their surprise, their marriages don't work. And people end up having children and they just think just bringing children into this world and bringing up children in our uh, 21st century is just, you know, it's just by, then that knowledge is just by osmosis and they're just going to get it right. And they get um, a rude awakening in that they realize that how complex it is to actually bring up children in the 21st century. And so many other things that people take for granted in this world and then suddenly they end up having bad outcomes and they wonder why. And the reason simply is you need knowledge. And as we have entered into a new year, make it your priority to acquire knowledge of whatever you're going to embark on. It might be a business project. You need to make sure you have the adequate amount of knowledge in that particular business area. It might even to do with relationships. It's worth reading books on relationships. Don't ever take anything for granted. There are books out there. I, I, I saw one book. I'm yet to read it, though. It, it, it's, it's called How to Read People Like a Book. And I, that's one of the books I will purpose to read in, uh, in this, this year so that I can be able to understand better how to deal with people. There is one book, though, that has transformed 
my understanding of people quite a lot. It's a book, uh, I think it's by De uh, Carnegie called How to Influence, How to Win and Influence People. That book opened my eyes. It helped me to understand people uh, to, a, a great, uh, to a greater extent and how to exercise emotional intelligence. So knowledge is powerful. Knowledge will help you in relationships. Knowledge will help you how to navigate through life. Knowledge will help you in the area of your health. Knowledge will help you in so many areas. So I want to encourage you this year to acquire knowledge. Read more books. Um, subscribe to YouTube channels like mine where you're going to learn helpful tips and get wisdom nuggets that are going to help you to move along. Uh, there, is so many things, there are so many things that you can learn um, through books and on the internet that can help you. So I encourage you this year to be open to learn and as you begin to acquire more knowledge, it will definitely change your thinking, it will then change how you act, and ultimately, it will change your life. Thank you for listening to me. This is Dr. Franklin, Life Strategist on the Success Portal. Till next time, goodbye.